Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we're making a university party apartment. Now, ju just to start it out, I am 16 years old. The most exciting party I have ever been to was a singular one in the second grade in which they were, like, monkeys. And it was at the zoo, but they, like, brought the monkeys. That was the most exciting party I have ever been to, and I was seven years old. So, you know, I have no experience with this in the slightest. So I fully base this off of what my imagination would think a college party is like. Is it anything like that? No, probably not in the slightest. This is probably really nice compared to that. However, you know, it's got a bunch of trash furniture and a bunch of cups everywhere. So good enough but it looks really pretty and the colors are pretty cool so originally I was like trying to do orange but then I went no I don't like orange especially well I like orange I don't like the orange that I was trying to go with they're, they're different colors in my mind that it's like good orange and bad orange I was trying to go with the bad orange can't work with that also I was trying to go like less modern because I feel like if you're gonna absolutely destroy an apartment at a party you don't want it to be like very modern because I feel like modern is associated with too much money so like it's gonna be expensive and stuff like that so I was trying to go with like more like old apartment corner of the city where everyone goes to have parties and so I was trying to go with like like everything that would be in apartment to move in with like the kitchen is like kind of normal so like it would be like how it would be in a normal apartment and like the bathroom's pretty normal except for like there's like a bunch of like towels on the floor which is kind of normal because like there's like nowhere to put anything I feel like bathrooms that have like no storage are kind of like useless because like that's like besides like the main pur purpose of a bathroom that like, storage is like the second thing so I don't know but like I just kind of put the stuff on the floor because I was like it looks dirty now or something like that but there's like a bunch of like chairs everywhere in which I don't know if you even use chairs at parties you can see my lack of knowledge here but I was like yeah folding chairs like to be fair I don't even think I've seen a movie that had a college party in it if I have it's like one like three years ago because I feel like that's like the last time I've watched a movie so you know I, I watch a lot of n not movies I watch like anything else I watch a lot of TV shows I don't like movies very much that's just a me thing I don't want to sit down for that long and also I don't have I don't have any movies that I genuinely like love to watch and so I don't if I don't want to really watch it I don't want to sit down for two and a half three hours to just watch a semi-decent movie and so mm, I, I just watch TV shows which is no different because I can sit down and watch six episodes of a TV show but I cannot watch a movie. It's It's got to change. And movies are usually like more slow paced. Which I think is the issue. Because TV shows. You got like 40 minutes to get a whole storyline done. Well. Whole storyline. A basic thing. So that you can watch them in segments. But like I can watch more than one of those. Because they change. And so it's a little bit better. So it, it makes sense in my mind. However to most people. They're like why can't you watch a movie. But you can watch a bunch of TV shows. It makes sense okay. There is logic behind this, but people just don't understand that. And th we went on a whole different, we went fully off course. We're now just in a whole different city than the one we were heading towards. But, you know, that's all good. <laughs> but this is, it's like purple and yellow, which I feel like wouldn't really have a color scheme. But when you're building for, like, the aesthetic, because I kind of have to make it either really ugly or kind of ugly, not really, or like really pretty. You, you can't go in between those or no one is going to watch the video. And that is not my main priority when I'm doing this, but you kind of have to think about it a little bit because like just a slight bit because, you know, I am posting this. So if no one watches it, it'll, it does kind of get to you. But also it is just fun to tr fully put a bunch of posters everywhere and like dig through debug and all that stuff. So, you know, two different things. But I was trying to go with like purple and yellow as like a color scheme just like to make it a little bit more cohesive. There's like posters everywhere. There's like this graffiti, which to be fair doesn't really look graffiti like. I don't know. I feel like there's like more realistic graffiti, but like the stuff that comes in The Sims, it's not supposed to be like the most perfect graffiti ever. So to be fair, it doesn't matter that much. Also, there's like three graffiti things in The Sims, so. You know, if you were trying to do actual graffiti, The Sims is not what you're gonna, you know, look at for inspiration, so it's all good. But other than that, it was really fun. I put like a dance floor. You wouldn't have an actual dance floor, to be fair. You know, this is like a secretive thing. If you walked in here, you'd be like, what's going on in here? Because <laughs> like that landlord person 
probably is like uh, uh, upstairs just go every time someone comes in and so you know also an apartment would be kind of unfortunate to throw a party in but I didn't want to make a house so to be fair there wasn't a lot of thinking that went down I just wanted to fully just have no sense when I was building so this is what I did and it does look good it looks kind of fun but you kind of it's like an organized party it's like a TV show set kind of thing like if you were needed to make one for a TV show you you'd make this so I don't know but I I also don't watch a lot of TV shows that don't have parties in them yeah so it, it's a whole thing but I'm moving on from the build now and to some of the things that I've done at school this week so the first thing is that we dissected crayfish and I um, have been trying to figure out what I call crayfish because I that does not sound normal. I'm fairly positive normally I would call it a crawfish because I've accidentally said crawfish. They're the same thing. To be perfectly honest, I don't care. However, it is bothering me that it takes so much effort to say crayfish and I cannot figure out what it, I am trying to say just normally. But I'm fairly positive it's cray, cray not, it's craw not cray but I don't care, but I'm just trying to figure out because it is stressing me out so badly. But every time I had to say crayfish, I would just like mess it up because it's like a, just the thing that you don't say often, but that's what my teacher was calling them and that's what it was called on the packet. And so like, I was trying to go with like what it says because if I just fully called it like something else, it would be bad. But like, I was just like trying to figure it out. But like, just like these stupid words that change where you are, the dialects, I hate them. It's so annoying, <laughs> but I feel like that's just very strange. That I also, everyone else seemed to be pretty okay, and also my teacher was that, and like everyone understands what a crayfish is, but I'm over here like, is that what I call it normally? But that's whole entirely b like besides the point. We dissected them this week in zoology, and it was really fun. It smelled pretty bad. It wasn't as horrible as the squid though, so obviously it couldn't have been that bad because the, the squid was horrible. It smelled so fishy. At, I swear everything smells like a fish. Everything in the ocean just smells the exact same in my mind and this is proving my point in the even more. So I don't really know. To be fair, I don't like seafood that much and I don't eat seafood like ever, but like I smell, I swear they all smell the exact same. Uncooked, just like smell like fish and it's just like a whole just like everything smells like a fish so you know it was pretty bad but um it wasn't horrible to be fair they look dirty like i don't think they're actually that but they had like stuff like around them which to be fair they're, they're, li they're a living creature they're gonna be kind of dirty but like they were like vacuum sealed in a plastic bag so i was like kind of expecting them to be clean because like they're fully prepared in a plastic vacuum sealed bag but i don't know but they were kind of also smelly for that reason and you know as I said dead thing so they're gonna smell but it was just really bad but we were dissecting them and um I my inside of my crayfish had like exploded <laughs> which is really funny in my mind because it was, it was the stomach I'm fairly positive is what the conclusion we had come to is that the stomach exploded while I was trying to dissect it or while it was you know being processed because there was just tan bits everywhere and to be perfectly honest i was not expecting that was what a stomach was looked like like especially when i we were dissecting the um uh, squid earlier the stomach also looks like that to be fair i don't dissect a lot of stomachs but to be fair i was kind of picturing the stomach to be like a like a bag with some liquids in it but that might be what that is when they're alive but when they're dead it just turns into like turns to be like food processed chicken if you know what that looks like it is also what dead the sea creature stomachs look like if that is not the best description ever but you know that's okay it was really fun other than the fact that it smelled horrible we also took a test in zoology this week or maybe it was last week to be fair i don't know but we have started with the tests and quizzes they are not that bad it was all good i have not failed anything yet i have gotten two stickers i, I don't think i've mentioned this yet but we get stickers from this one teacher because she's also my chemistry teacher and so she gives us stickers if we get an 80% or over on the test. And so I filled up one side of my sticker card of stickers. And so I'm very happy about that. But it's just really fun. This is how you get kids to do well on tests is you give them stickers. High school students and stickers go well, very well together. Just saying. It, work, it works every single time. So it's very fun. And I'm very excited to have all my stickers. I've got a crab now. That was my last. I got a crab sticker. It was very nice and so um looking forward to getting more stickers and also just doing more stuff i think we're dissecting crickets next i think is what she said 
but to be fair, I don't remember. And I am so tired right now that I'm not going to try and figure out what she said we were dissecting, but I'm fairly positive it is crickets. And so that's all fun. But I guess that is about all that I've done this week because I don't remember anything that I did this week other than cheer trials. So it was kind of hard to figure out topics that I was doing because I was just fully focused the entire week on cheer. And so that was like all my brain was thinking about. And so it's been Friday. I, after like cheer was like all over, my brain was like, what am I supposed to do now? Like it was like a, a lost something after that because I was just so focused on it. But you know, that's okay. I guess I get to relax somewhat now. Um, but that's okay. But that is um, almost the end of the video. So I'm going to end right here as it is almost screenshots time. But subscribe if you did like today's video or if you want to see more like this. But I do post four videos a week so you can watch another video next time. Bye!